Hey guys, Mickey here. You know, we've all heard it before. Change starts in the mind. In order to change, we first have to change the way we think. Positive attitudes equal positive results. I could go on and on with hundreds of these catchy little cliche mantras, but what do they really mean? What are some examples of how to change the way we think? Point blank and simple, it literally means we have to change our opinion of ourselves. It means we have to stop allowing yesterday's excuses to hold us back from tomorrow's progress. So often we start a journey saying things like, I know me, every time I've tried to make this change, whether it be diet, exercise, budgeting, developing a more positive mindset, reading more, praying more, or whatever area that we're looking to better ourselves and affect change in our lives, you know, we, we say to ourselves that I failed or it just doesn't work for me every time I've tried to do that. Well, let me tell you, that change means change, and that change means realizing that just because we quit on ourselves the last time we tried something, doesn't mean we're gonna have to allow ourselves to quit this time. Because that's what happened. It's not the diet changes didn't work or couldn't be done. It didn't mean we couldn't fit exercise in, budgeting, prayer, or whatever into our life now. It means that if we really and truly are seeking change, we absolutely must make a commitment to ourselves, hold ourselves accountable, and find someone else to help hold us accountable. It also means if we do slip into our old self or bad habits, start procrastinating or allowing excuses to creep in, we hold strong to that commitment and we get right back on our path. Using diet for an example, let's face it, if we want to lose weight, tone our bodies and feel better, more than likely, we're going to need to make some changes in the decisions we make regarding what we allow ourselves to put into our own mouths. We're probably going to have to restrict ourselves a little and we have to face the fact that we're not going to be able to continue eating the foods and, the, and eating the way that we ate that caused our weight gain to start with and be able to lose weight that way i mean it's just not going to happen so for a designated period of time we're going to have to be committed to our goal and not allow ourselves to make bad choices with what we eat while realizing that in order for us to do that we've got to change the way we think our thoughts just can't dwell on our so-called restrictions. Instead, we should be focusing all of our, all of our focus should be on our goals and the fact that we're allowing ourselves to make better decisions for what inevitably is best for us in creating the changes that we see. If we enter into a weight loss journey thinking, I know myself, I know me too well. If I restrict myself, it just won't work for me. And we'll be 100% right. It won't work. So we'll be letting yesterday's excuses hold us back from tomorrow's progress and change. Instead, our new self will have to create a mindset of success. We'll have to know that for X amount of time, we're gonna follow our weight loss plan. We're gonna hold strong to our commitment. This time, no matter what, we're not quitting. This time, we're gonna make it happen. We'll give 100% of our best effort each day with 100% of our best for that day. Some days, our 100 will produce a little bit more. It'll put us, it'll be right on point and we'll go above and beyond our expectations of ourselves. While other days, it simply will be what it'll be, but it should always be our best. If we fall or make a bad choice, we're not gonna allow that train to take off in the wrong direction. We'll pump our brakes and get back on track because quitting is not an option. I recommend short-term goals with small rewards. In a situation like dieting for weight loss, I start the people I coach off with a 21-day program, followed by a reward, and then back to work on another short-term commitment based individually on where they are in their journey. It's kind of like football fans celebrate when their team gets a first down. You know, a short-term goal. But that celebration, it doesn't compare to the intensity and or duration of our touchdown celebration. Usually first downs are short claps and a cheer, maybe a quick high five to the person beside us, while touchdowns are filled with jubilation. There's dancing and screaming and hugging and jumping up and down, the music blares and often a cannon or some fireworks go off while our team mascot gets a little crazy. We don't ever get comfortable with that celebration though as we know the game ain't over till it's over. We follow the celebration up by committing to another short-term goal and busting our butt to make it happen. So, I encourage you that if you're in that place, if you have a, a change that you're wanting to make in your life to make yourself better in any area, start that change with the conversation you have with yourself. 
stop allowing yourself to put you down. Instead, use that conversation time as a daily pep talk. Remind yourself that today's a new day. The new you is committed to your goal. Disciplined enough to do what you gotta do and strong enough to see it through. You are a winner and you will achieve your goal because you're worthy and this time you will succeed. As always, I'm here for you. And if I can serve you in any way, please don't hesitate to let me know. Now let's go out there and make it happen. Have a blessed day.